What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I would like to talk about some of the rumors that are kind of circling around Call of Duty 2020, which is rumored to be Black Ops Cold War. Now all the stuff I'm about to talk about in this video is rumored. None of it is confirmed by Treyarch, but a lot of these people that have released these rumors and leaks have usually been pretty spot on. But keep in mind, this may or may not come to the game. It is rumored information. But I do like to bring this stuff here on the channel if it is pretty legitimate from legitimate sources so you guys can kind of have an idea of what you can expect in kind of the Call of Duty world in general. So the first thing they talked about was how they were going to implement, uh, some of the rumors were how they are going to implement Warzone into a new Call of Duty 2020 game. Right now, the, the rumor is that there's going to be an option in the menu, kind of like there is in Modern Warfare, whether you want to play single player, co-op in Modern Warfare, if you want to play uh, you know, Warzone, if you want to play multiplayer, you have that option to select it from the menu. And that looks like what the rumors floating around right now is there will be an option in the menu in the new game, in the new 2020 game, in the new Treyarch Black Ops game. You will have the option to select Warzone from there. So as far as we know, Treyarch is not working on a separate battle, battle royale game. We do know that Infinity Ward said they want to continue with Warzone through multiple titles. So that is interesting. You won't have to, you know, boot up a separate game. You won't have to go to your Warzone file. You won't have to go, if you know, if you have the free-to-play version, you won't have to go to your Modern Warfare game. If you want to play Warzone, you will actually have the option to just select it from the new game itself. The next thing that was rumored was a lot of remastered maps coming to this Black Ops or Treyarch game. Things like Nuketown, Jungle Summit, and Firing Range are going to be remastered maps. Are these going to be these are going to be the remastered maps right now that are rumored coming to this new Black Ops game? Nuketown has been in every single Black Ops game to date, but Nuketown, Jungle Summit, and Firing Range were all Black Ops 1 maps. Also, all of these maps were added into Black Ops 4 as well. And I'm not sure how you guys feel about this. I'm sure everybody's going to kind of be on the fence. Some people love these maps. Some people are kind of like me and would like to see some new inventive things, some new maps brought to the game that we have not played in the past. I understand overall if you're going to give out free content, it is easy to give out new maps and remastered maps together. That way you can pump out more content more often. But at the same time, I would like to see new things as well. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Would you guys, are you guys happy to hear that these remastered maps are going to be coming to the game supposedly? Or would you rather have uh, just all new maps and kind of get away from the remastered map idea year in and year out? Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel, and all their information is linked down in the description. I'll catch you next time. Peace.